On the left, we have the very classic Mario 64 coming out of the pipe from the N64 game, and you can see how it looks. It's a little bit blurry, it's a little bit pixelated, and that is how it looked. On the right, we have an enhanced upscaled version, and I did this using an AI tool in one click. And in, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this yourself with not just videos, but photos as well. And you can enhance all sorts of different media types. And there's also a feature that I'm gonna show you, which is an absolute game changer if you're a content creator. This is a photo of AI Dana, and as you can tell when you zoom in, she is kind of blurry. We're gonna fix this up using a tool called the Wondershare Unit Converter. You can see here they have a lot of different features and options. There's just under hot, we have video, audio, and images. There's a lot going on here. So we can go to Image Enhancer with AI, we can hit Add Files, and we can upload our image of AI Dana. Now you can see on the right, we have some options. We have Auto Enhancer, Face Enhancer, Color Correction, Old Photo, Old Photo Restore, and Image Up. Scaler, we are going to just use auto enhancer. It's gonna automatically make the image better. So we can click this and just like that, AI is going to make this image a lot better. So when we zoom in, it's going to be a lot more clear and you're gonna see that in just a moment. And now we can see the difference. So let's zoom in and I wanna zoom in all the way just so you can really, really see how well this works. Now, if we pan up, you can see the face. On the left, we have a lot of blur. It is not a crisp face. On the right, it is a lot better. So this is like night and day different, really. If you look at the original versus the result, it is substantially better. I know you see the watermark, but it also exports the file fully, so there is no watermark. So look at us zoom in fully now and look at the difference. That is really good. It is a lot better than before. I'm gonna show you some of the other really cool features they have for just images. And if you enjoy AI, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a nearly daily basis. So they have one called Old Photo Restorer, and I'm going to pick one of their samples. And you can see here, it is a dog. The image has a line through it and another line, and it has it's all scratched up basically. We can click export, and it is going to export a photo that is fixed, it's going to use AI to fix it, and you can actually see the improved version here. There is no more lines on this photo. The dog has been fixed up. I'm gonna try the same exact feature, but this time around on a photo that I have uploaded. So we have this one here of this girl, and truthfully, I just found this online by searching old photo that needs restoring. So once again, we have the before and after. So on the bottom left here, you can see like this really solid line that's going through. It is all fixed up on the right. Is the right perfect? No, but it is substantially better. So there is still some stuff like this little yellow circle at the top, but for the most part, it got rid of basically all of the lines and you can see the photo a lot better than before. The next feature I wanna talk about is this color correction feature here. So I have this image here. It's uh, just an image I took myself when I ordered pizza using AI. AI actually called the place, called Domino's and made the whole order for me. So anyway, you can see this image isn't great. There's like a lot of dark spots. My face isn't great. We're going to upload this image and then we're on color correction. We're gonna hit export and it is going to take this image. And ideally we are going to have improved colors on this image. On this view here, you can kind of see it a little bit better. You can see my face has more details now. It's not as dark. So they've modified the colors just a little bit to make it look better. Photos is not the only thing Wondershare Unit Converter can do. It can also work with video. So if we are on here, this tab here, we can go to videos and now we can hit video enhancer and we can click it. When we're here, we have some options. So we can do quality restoration. So just one click, the video is gonna be clear. We can do anime and enhancement. So if you have an old school anime and you want to enhance it, you can do that. We have face enhancement, so it's going to detect the face and make it better. We have just general videos and frames. So they have their samples as always, so we can like pick their sample file and you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. So here is the same video, but cleared up and fixed. Again, this is a sample video. Let's see how it works with a real video that I upload. So we're gonna upload this video here of Sonic running through the level. And you can see what it looks like. It's just your classic Sonic game. And 
he's just kind of going through and there's a lot going on i thought this would be kind of a fun test this one isn't terrible quality but it can look better so you can kind of see the different artifacts and different stuff so we can do like quality enhancement this supports three different modes we have two times four times and this will upgrade or up enhance times two or times four so let's start with this one let's try times four and it even gives you an estimate of your total credits so we're going to use five credits just so you know how the credits are going to work. So we can actually hit export all and it's going to start exporting. We're gonna see it on our little bar at the bottom. And now you can see it's analyzing and it is working. And now we can hit preview and we can see the difference from the before and the after. So we can see Sonic on the right. We can see the background, look at the water the water is a lot more clear. We can see the little guy, he is more clear. You can see more of the pixels and everything. You can see the before here and you can see what Sonic looks like. He's just kind of blurry. It's like not terrible, but it could be better. And this is the enhanced version. So you can see like the background as he's running, there's more detail on Sonic and all the little details of the world. It just looks refined and better overall. There are a lot of different features that Wondershare Unit Converter offers. So we have like an AI video enhancer, which I showed you. We have a watermark remover using AI, a subtitle editor using AI. There's a ton of audio tools that all have AI built in. So we can do like text to speech or vocal remover, where you're going to separate vocals from the background music or noise remover. The number of AI features in this tool are endless, it seems like. And then we have image ones, but possibly my favorite video tool is not actually even on this list here under videos, because this is just under home and this is just the featured tools. So if you click more tools, you'll see under videos, look how many tools there are under videos now and under audio and under images. So if you're working with videos, audio or images and you wanna do something with it, whether it's like editing an image, removing a background, adding or removing watermarks or creating thumbnails, working with audio or video, Wondershare Unit Converter seems to have something for everyone. So anyway, if we scroll all the way down, there is this one here called Auto Crop. I think this feature is wild, it's phenomenal. So we're gonna start by uploading a video and we're going to upload the Mario clip we had in the beginning of the video, the intro one that I used. So we can see it here. And if we want to make the aspect ratio for Instagram, we're on Instagram here. And, but not just Instagram, we can decide from a reel to a square, to a portrait landscape. There's so many different options and we can kind of go through and do the same thing for different platforms. So we're on Facebook, we can say, Hey, let's make this for our story. Or maybe we want this to be for TikTok, which is very popular. I don't know if you guys heard of that one, it's a joke. So anyway, if you go to modify your video you generally will see YouTubers crop their video like this in just a square. But this tool uses AI to analyze. We're gonna click analyze now, let's just get it going. It's going to analyze the video and determine where that square should be at different parts of the video itself. So you can actually see the frame now, it is moving. It is not a stationary frame. It is moving with the video itself. You can also adjust the motion speed. So maybe we want it to be fast or maybe we want it to slow down. We can do that as well, or we can just leave it on auto. When we are ready, we can click export. It is going to crop this video using that frame adjustment thing that I just showed you. And you're going to end up with a video that looks like this. So our short now for TikTok looks a lot better because it's cropped properly and it is actually moving along so you can actually see all the different parts of the video. It's not just one little stationary box. All right, let's try one last feature. Let's try this vocal remover. So we're going to upload the Franklin AI song that I use as my outro song. So we have our audio uploading. And once we have this audio uploaded, in theory, based off this tool, we should have the vocals separate from the background song. The vocal removal tool is finished and I brought all the times to the 19 second mark. I truthfully haven't heard it yet. So here's the original. We're gonna play it for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now here should be only the background. It's not bad. All right, vocals only. 
Actual skin liners, they got tops you can use. It's all for free, just come and see. At FranklinAid.com, where you're meant to be. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment down below. Is this something you would use? What are your thoughts on this one here? I do like the idea that it's like an actual application. It does like file conversion, but then my file conversion can also like convert a bad file to a good file, I guess is how I'm seeing it. So it's a really cool tool, but love to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis and like the video. It tells algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content and I want to see more of it. Not even necessarily mine, but just AI in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.